Well, hey there, y'all. So I am in uh, London right now, and I'm very excited to be working with this group today, uh, World Heartbeat Academy. And as I'm sure many of you know, um, art programs all around the United States are getting cut out of funding um, from public education. And it's not just an American problem, it's happening all over the world. And uh, this group, World Heartbeat Academy, they're all about uh, having a very inclusive place for students to come that are passionate about music so that they can learn. Uh, they have a lot of volunteers. Uh, people from all over the world come here to help these students uh, develop their musical skills. Uh, they play instruments and they also do something that I think is really cool. And um, they take people from other parts of the world that may need some help and develop their musical skills and they give them a place to study, um, give them the best teachers that they can, you know, provide them with equipment, um, kind of help them with everything with becoming part of the society in London and also learning a lot about music. And uh, from what I understand, I'm going to get to meet one of those people today. Uh, I believe he's from Venezuela. And yeah, Sahana from World Heartbeat Academy, she brought him into the program. Um, he's gone from Venezuela through Europe, trying to find a place where he can learn more about music and study it and hopefully get into a uh, a school that's going to help him become one of the best pianists in the world um, but yeah world heartbeat academy i can't wait to show you all, all the great work they're doing and uh meet sahana meet some of the instructors and yeah it should be a great day i'm really excited so let's get it started my name is sahana garo i'm artistic director and founder of the world heartbeat music academy well, the history of the Academy is in year 2000. I actually set up um, a small donut party in a small living room in my parents' house and I invited some children to come and play. And after even a couple of weeks, there were so many down the hallways and everywhere, I um, had to set up a band and we named the band the 51st State Band. The 51st State Band then grew to be the largest community concert band in London and maybe in the whole of the UK. And at the same time we were doing these social projects where children, we'd fundraise for musical instruments, fundraise for some um, money so that we could support them and let them come and learn and play for free. And that was the foundation of the World Heartbeat Music Academy. Here in the UK, our creative subjects and the music programs and the community programs are being cut quite ruthlessly in the schools. I mean, every day it breaks my heart. I have a new child that comes in, a new young person that comes and says their music program's been cut. And it's cut, I mean, if it exists at all, it's cut even at the age of 13. And in the primary schools, it's been cut as well. So. Um, they don't have the chance to play. There's a lot of isolation as well in the world. A lot of social media has actually um, brought children more in an isolated world, so there isn't that human connection. Plus, there's a lot of stress with all the exams and everything that they have to do at school, or the academic subjects, that actually children are only being educated as half a person. So um, it's really, really vital that programs like this exist. Music and playing instruments is like breathing. It should be free. It's a place where everybody can feel that um, they have something which is theirs and nobody can take away and something that they can share and offer and something that connects them to everybody because music is the universal language. So. Um, you don't need to speak a different language. What divides us in this world, actually we have much more in common. We have our heartbeat and we have music. There's examples of how music can really improve educational grades, communication, happiness, social well-being, social safety, everything. But still, um, nothing seems to be done as far as the structure of the school day is getting more stressful with all the interventions, the academic and the science and the, the, the academic subjects going higher and the schools not being able to find the funding. Um, do I see light um, with all of this? Not at the moment, it's really heading towards crisis and the weird thing is that, well the thing I don't understand is that the, the amount of um, mental health and the amount of um, the cases that are being reported, 
particularly amongst young teenagers, they're not correlating that at all with the lack with the cuts of the education, the creative um, subjects and music in the creative curriculum. They're not correlating the fact that there's more mental health um, cases and people that need those services with the lack of creative subjects being taught. I'm not quite sure what's happening, but luckily. Um, for us, we're just continuing with our work and the children are coming in and we're serving our community in this way and we're really happy to do it. And likewise, um, the children and the young people are really happy here. So we have our own world being created. We're happy. So we have, um, coming through our doors every week, we have 350 students. We have little ones all the way from like four or five and all the way up to, we support young people up to the ages of 24. And at different stages, we have 18 different programs and we have um, programs where you, we have as many programs where you learn by ear as you do learning by um, reading music. So we have um, an Asian music program, we have a gypsy program, a folk program, Irish music, we have a contemporary music program, we have a jazz program and of course we have classical music program and um, a band program, orchestra, we have like basically it's like a sweet shop for young musicians in this place. Um, so we have students that come and from different parts of the world as well that are now living here in the UK and so wherever their musical needs are we take them from where they are and give them what, what a program around where they're going for their aspirations plus we'll expand what they can do and support them in different ways. Hello my name is Arnaldo Cogorno, I'm 18 years old, I'm studying in War Heartbeat Academy, uh, I'm from Venezuela and War Heartbeat Academy has helped me a lot to develop all my, ta all my skills as a pianist and they have made me a better musician and a better person as well. Well, two years ago, no, three years ago already, I decided I wanted to study uh, in Europe, my career. I wanted to develop my career in, in Europe because Venezuela the situation was getting worse and worse and basically the professors were going uh, overseas or, or whatever, they, they were going to other to other countries. The good human material was, Venezuela was losing the good human material. So there was, there was no, I knew there was going to be no opportunity as it is now. So well, I encouraged myself to study, to learn more English, um, to study with foreign professors. I lived in a city called um, Margarita and I had to travel to the capital Caracas uh, every two, twice a month or stuff to study with the good professors. Uh, I prepared myself, I made a national concourse, I won, and uh, then I played with an orchestra and then it was the time to go to Europe, so my first step was in Italy. I mean, I stayed in London because of Sahana, because of mm -hmm. what the opportunity Sahana and Professor Michael offered me here to develop my career, because that's what I was looking for when I moved to Europe, when I moved from Venezuela to Europe, to, lo to look for other opportunities, because um, the economical and humanitarian crisis in Venezuela is very, very tough and there are basically no opportunities in my field to study music properly, to have uh, 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 lots, of, uh, lots of field and, and opportunities to perform and stuff. Um, that's basically why I moved here. Uh, well, my background in Venezuela, I, got, I participated a lot with, I don't know if you know El Sistema, uh, it's an orchestral system in Venezuela, a public orchestral system where they just give uh, poor, poor children the opportunity to, to start a career in music instead of going to the, to, the, to the villages to make crimes and stuff. They just take those children that doesn't have uh, apparently any opportunity or any talent, they just put it in. Uh, with a violin, with a piano, or any instrument, they make wonderful stuff. This system has been engaged 
40, 45 years so far in Venezuela and, and they have made a lot a very good work so I come from the come from private lessons uh, uh, well that's basically my background being in Europe I like the uh, feel European as well I, in fact my second nationality is Italian I like being that and I I just uh, uh, it's a new life, uh, it's wonderful, and every day I discover something new, something wonderful, especially here. Uh, this place is, is amazing, the people here, the community, they're always supportive and, and, and very valu valuable as, uh, as musicians, as professionals, as, as persons as well. Uh, present here because I'm not the only foreign here. I, for example, there's a Bialin Bialin professor that is from Hungary. Uh, there's uh, another girl that's from Spain. I mean, there's an open community. It's, uh, it's what London means. For example, London is a metropolitan city where you can find people from all kind of backgrounds, all kind of countries, nationalities, and you can learn hugely amounts of knowledge of from any part of the world. That's uh, one of the advantages in London and Sahana expresses that absolutely perfect here in uh, in War Harbor. So everybody, we all learn from everybody, from each other. It, it's not that I just learn from my professor and, and my professor is a leader or, or, or something. He's just one of the students, one of the, one of the uh, member of the, com of the community and he teaches and we teach him we, uh, he learns from us, I learn from my partners, the, I learn from my jazz partners, I don't play jazz at all, I'm specialized in classical music, but I also assist to jazz uh, music classes, uh, I learn from them, they learn from classical music, they're, they're interested, so uh, I learn from guitar players, uh, trombone players, uh, violin players, we're all a community, friendly community, and we learn from each other. Well, they give they basically give the opportunity to those children or to those per uh, people that has a different background to everybody. For example, me, I come from a different country. I didn't speak English very well a few months ago. They helped me with that. They helped me with uh, uh, trusting me, l listening to me, uh, paying attention to something that's apparent that has apparently has no talent, but it does. It does in its own way. That's what Sahana makes here. They, uh, she see, she look for a time when, where the people don't believe exactly there is. She takes that talent and develops it to its maximum potence, and it comes something very, very wonderful. I think. World Heartbeat has just um, been granted a building of seven hundred fifty square meters. It's um, a massive, um, it's a beautiful place in the, one of the regeneration areas of London and we're going to create a beautiful performance venue, recording studio, more teaching um, rooms and to expand what we do so that we can reach, well, double our impact and actually double our intake of students and reach many, many more children and that's just a start. We've just opened a, um, a crowdfunding website and it's um, going to be running for 120 days and it's to raise, it's actually to raise money to build the venue and to build the recording studios and to um, put some equipment inside it and um, we're looking for um, as many people even if it's just a small amount like two pounds it really helps and as many people that um, can put on there it just shows a really nice community support for our for our work and it's www.spacehive.com forward slash world heartbeat so um, that's that and then we also um, have an ongoing site to support 70 disadvantaged children on global giving so if you go to global giving and then um, globalgiving.com and put World Heart Beat in there. There's a really lovely project on support 70 disadvantaged children and that you can use all over around, around the world as well.